a very good morning from a dark gloomy day it's sterling scotland here is the rental car we have uh, for this trip it's an audi a6 tdi diesel brand new 2016 model uh, this shows you the outside of the car note that the car is long so be careful when you reverse or do turns huh? it's pretty long this is the ignition system and this is where we rented the car from six it now start by showing you the boot there's no automatic boot but i press this which causes it to light up and there's a button below here uh, press and it comes up all right you can see in front of you it's pretty good boot space ample space we've got some water all our luggage is in the hotel room at the moment so this is what it looks like diesel okay and you can see diesel and there's an add blue compartment here where you need the wrench yep close it okay let me close my boot there's this button here, press it, it will close and let me get what it looks like. So I open the front door, yep, this is the entrance, here you can see this is the S-Line version, okay, and let me get it, oh, alright, inside the car now, you can see that it shows you the A6. 11 degrees outside. Let me close my door. It's on the 9th December 216. Okay. Controls. And over this side, passenger seat and the back seat. Pretty roomy, which I'll show you later. But for now, let's start the engine. It's a keyless ignition. It's most Audis, I think. And you press this button here. First press, starts up, and you saw it for yourself, the nav system coming out, which is very useful. Yep, so, right, mine says add wash it fluid, which is fine. Okay, BBC, I've got a full tank. Here is the horn, many buttons on the, uh, the steering wheel, which I don't really use. Yep, car lock, lock and lock, the windows, and power seats here. Okay, what we really need to know how to use would be temperature controls, right side, left side, um, front, rear for the rear white, um, uh, rear uh, windscreen to get it uh, cleared up. Um, Okay, parking brake, pull it up, red sign, parking brake is on, push it down, parking brake goes off. Alright, um, I don't know what A is, I didn't try that. And the nav system now, this is very important. Nav system, in the UK, you easiest way to go around is navigating with the postal code and then once you get close to it, you got to use your eyes because often it may not be able to bring you to where you want. So what I do press nav okay press nav here you reach here then this is bezel you can turn you can see it move yep so this is what it is this bezel you turn it okay so i'll turn it and move it to address oh, okay last destinations how do you click last destinations all right look at this you push the button down push and then it shows you all the last destinations okay and then you can select and once you select maybe you want to enter so you can click back right and you can see you gotta go to address and how to enter press address what i do is i scroll up scroll up to town and postcode press now what do you do one way is to search using this or you can actually write let me show you let's say i write um, l oops uh -huh. Okay, 
try again. Um, oh, uh, C? C. Ah, it, it reads out, see? A? A. L? L. Five. So you can read numbers. If it doesn't get anything, it'll tell you no. To backspace, you just do this. Delete. Do this. Delete. Do this. Delete. You get what I mean? Try again. So let's try A. A. B. B. C. C. We need a space. Oops, there's nothing. <laughs> Ab kettle B. Okay. Backspace. Delete. 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 Alright, so just choose where you want to go. So just to give you an example, um, this is where I am right now. Okay. Ah, this is to. All right, that was the uh, nav system. Let me look at the car system. So you have car systems efficiency, um, comfort, dynamic, individual. Right. So let's go comfort. All right. Now back to the nav system. Mm -hmm. So I click menu, navigation, back. All right, start route guidance. And once you click on start route guidance, it will take a few seconds to think, and then it will show you where. And what's pretty cool, you also have it in front of you. Yep, and that's it. That's what I wanted to show you, the Audi A6. There's a compartment here for stuff. All right, there are two compartments here for drinks. Uh, the stuff you can put here, but don't forget them. And what's really neat is here you got a... Um, you can open this up, and I got two cables which I left left here. Uh, there are two USB ports. All right. And let us... Uh, let me show you the rest of the Audi A6 this time, the rear passenger seat the back uh, we open okay let's see the plenty of drinks huh <laughs> s line okay so here something for you it's almost like cigarette maybe <laughs> plenty of uh, room behind let me go in take a seat uh, all right and close the door so this is what you see in front of me, um, plenty of room, put your stuff in front of your legs, or put it in the rear. Also plenty of room here, in front of the front passenger seat. And this is how the car feels. And there's also the center piece you can pull down. Yep, for your armrest if you need it. So it looks like that. Okay, push it up again. Ugh. And uh, rear temperature controls here. Alright, this is how it looks like. Uh, you have an air vent over here. And also something to hang your clo clo uh, coat here. Alright, get out of the car. Uh, in case you're wondering where I am, I'm in Scotland in front of the Premier in uh, Stirling. And this is what the car looks like, our rental car. Has some problems with the AdBlue, which you can watch the other video, which I put a link in the description. Basically, my AdBlue was running out and I had to fill it up myself. And that was quite tricky because I hadn't done it before and the call six it and then it sent me to Audi and yeah, I got it done so that we can do more driving. Goodbye.